Today I'm going to read from my little book of Dear God Letters. Thanks for thinking of love. These are thoughts for every day, and they're from Annie. Dear God, oh boy. Dear God, oh boy, what is my talent? Playing the piano, singing a song, hitting a baseball or kicking a football. It takes a special skill to do anything. Everybody has different abilities. God gives everyone a definite talent. Every good gift is from God. I feel like God cheers when I use my talent. It feels great to receive applause for using my gift. Once in a while, it feels good to hit a home run. Afterwards, rest and relaxation can be a gift from God. Our verse for, today, for this about talents is every man has his proper, proper gift of God, one after this manner and another after that. That verse means that God has proper gift for each one of you, a talent for each one of you, and it's special. 1 Corinthians 7, 7. The next page we're going to read is, Dear God, I don't mind waiting if it's worth waiting for. I don't mind waiting if it's waiting for. Dear God, please, it's a great, patience is a great quality. God is pleased by those who know the value of waiting. Do you remember when you had to wait until Christmas? or your birthday to open your presents. What fun you had when you finally tore off the wrapping paper and peeked inside the packages. God wants you to remember that he has many good gifts for you. Have patience because the Lord's plan is worth waiting for. The verse for this page on, on waiting is, wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he will strengthen you. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms twenty-seven, fourteen. How many of you can say that you can wait? Wait on mom or wait on dad. Dear God, a friend is always there to take your, take your place. Dear God, a friend is always there to take your call. God does not use voicemail. God does not have call waiting. God never puts you on hold. God answers me when I call to him. If I want to talk with God, I must listen for his voice. I can ask him about anything. Sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes the answer is wait. God does not always give me what I ask for, but he always gives me what I need. And the verse in the Bible for this is, If he call thee, thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. 1 Samuel 3, 9. Dear God, what will you do or we do today? Dear God, what will we do today? Why can't I watch TV all day? Sometimes it is hard to get out of your pajamas and get dressed, especially when all you want to do is be lazy. But God wants you to be a person of excellence. He wants you to make every day count. You can make God happy by getting up every morning and doing what he wants you to do. And the Bible verse for this page today is, the way of the slothful man is a hedge of thorns. Slothful means lazy. But the way of the righteous is made plain. Proverbs fifteen nineteen. So if you get up, get dressed, you won't be considered slothful or lazy. Dear God, they may not be the real thing, but... I am. Dear God, I may not be the real thing, but I am. When you're pretending you can be anything, 
You can win a gold medal in the 100-yard dash or make a winning score in a basketball game. But God sees you the way you really are, and he thinks you're incredible, even when you're not defending an island of four that's been surrounded by pirates. The person you are, are is a person he loves. That, that was sh just sharing that you were playing in, on an island, of, f f island fort surrounded by pirates, and he wants you to know that he loves you. The verse for today, or for this page, is how precious also are thy thoughts unto me. O oh God, how great is the sum of them. So God has precious thoughts of you because he loves you so very much. Dear God, I'm sick, but I get lots of cards. That isn't bad. If you're sick and you get lots of cards, why do I get sick with the flu? A chew. Being sick is yucky. God wants you to take care of your body. If you don't feel well, take a rest. Our bodies are so complex and amazing that only God understands fully how they work. He has a reason for everything, even for your, you being sick. Just trust that he knows what he is doing and you'll be better in no time. The memory verse for that page is, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, and who heals all your diseases. Psalms 103, 2 and 3. Just remember that when you get sick, just rest and soon you will be feeling better. Dear God, I think I've got a good feeling. Dear God, I think I got a good feeling. It feels good to spend time with your friends. School friends are great. Neighbor, neighbor friends can be fun. But some of your best friends are the ones who live with you, like your brother, your sister, and the rest of your family. And God, of course, is the best friend of all. He goes with you everywhere, no matter where you're at. And that's about the best feeling you could ever have. The verse is, shout with joy to God, all the earth. Psalm 66, 1. So that is great when you have your brothers and your sisters with you and your mom and dad. And but just always remember God goes with you and he's with you wherever you are at. Dear God, okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh, where is it? Thy brother makes me mad. You have a new shirt that you are so excited about wearing, but when you look for it in the closet, it's gone. Then your little brother walks in with your shirt that's now snagged and muddy. Siblings can make you mad sometimes. Ask God to help you love each other, even when you get upset with one another. Your brothers and sisters are gifts from God. You can count on them, and you can count on them to make a mess. The verse for this page is, Let Brotherly Love Continue. Thank you so much for listening to the stories of Dear God. I hope you have enjoyed the day and the pictures and stories, and you have a great day. God bless.